What's happening guys, it's your boy Peekum Fun Fan 97 and I'll be showing you guys how to export your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Now it's very easy, we're gonna go ahead and create a new project, so click new project, give this um, a title, a name, in this case I'm gonna name it export footage, and click OK, and once you've done that, you wanna go into DV NTSC with widescreen 48 kilohertz. You guys will probably have standard 48 kilohertz as default. If you guys don't, then go into this folder and click widescreen 48 kilohertz. This allows you to get 19 by 9, 16 by 9 ratio, which is like a 1280 by 720 aspect ratio, if you guys are familiar with that. Standard basically is four by three. It's gonna look like there's black bars on the sides. We don't want that, so click widescreen 48 kilohertz. Give your sequence a name. A sequence basically allows you guys to match the project settings to the video footage you're gonna export to. Sequence basically works just like I said um, earlier, just right now, um, and yeah, so click OK. And uh, so Adobe Premiere is going to open, and we want to have our footage imported. So you guys have one, you can just skip this, but I'm going to go ahead and import my file. So import. Once you've done that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select in my video footage. In this case, it is the Audi Sports uh, car experience. Click that and drag it in here. You might get a uh, clip mismatch warning. Just click uh, keep existing settings because you want to keep our sequence settings. If not, it's going to change it all. And it's going to look, it's just going to take the project settings that is from the footage and apply it to the sequence. We don't want to do that. We don't want the the actual thing if because when we first created it, it's going to be kind of pointless. So once you have done that, you want to go into file and export and click media. Now, your windows might be a little different because I am on a Mac and you're probably on a Windows. If you are, then that's okay. Uh, they're just, uh, the layout is a little bit different. But you can skim through right here, um, through, you can see how it says rendering. You can skip through the video by just moving this little cursor right here. And so right here where it says uh, export settings, you wanna click format or, right here, or quick time, and select H.264. Right here where it says preset, uh, you want to go down and select H. Uh, HD 720 29.97. Now, if you guys want full resolution 1080p by 1920, 1920 by 1080, you want to go with HD 1080p 29.97. Now, this depends on whether or, or it depends on what you guys are going to export to. It depends what video you're doing. If you guys go into the very bottom, you'll see YouTube presets. These are basically pointless. They don't really work as great as you guys have a custom one so go into h dot or hd 720p 29.97 and um this is 720 again personal pref personal preference anyway um output name you want to give it a destination so double click that or just click it once give your export a name i'm gonna name it test uh footage just as my preset where, give it a location, desktop, uh, file format, it's gonna be in a .mp4, click save. Now you wanna go down right here, where it says basic video settings. Where it says width, make sure it's 1280 by 720, frame rate turn in, or 29.97, progressive, square pixels. Right here where it says profile, select high. This will give you really great quality. And level 5.1, this basically is the maximum, it will give you the best HD quality ever. Bitrate encoding. Now, we want to select VBR2 pass. This will take a little longer, but the quality be, will be enhanced. So, uh, target bitrate, uh, select that around 10 to 20. I go 18. It's really good at 18. Uh, you can go higher if you guys wanted to. But uh, the, the less, the number, the, the number that's less, like five, the less um, file size. Right now it's estimated. 346 megabytes um, and uh, this will you can change it it doesn't have to be the same so you can uh, move around with that skill custom and uh, so when it's bigger like say 25 or so then that means that the file will be bigger the file size will be bigger it's gonna be like 800 megabytes or something like that this is only estimated so it's not the final result where you want to go to audio uh, make sure audio format is AAC Usually when you select H.264, it's automatic at AAC because there's no other options. Sample rate, 48,000 uh, 48, uh, 48, hertz. That's uh, crisp audio. 
Audio quality you want high. Bit rate, we want something higher than uh, 64. So 192, 256 is great. 320 is just an overkill, so I wouldn't go with that. And you're basically done. So then you wanna click use maximum render quality. This will take longer to export, but I promise you guys, if you have like a two minute video, this is really worth it. If you guys have a 10 minute video, try to uncheck it and try to use, kind of balance out the stuff. And uh, once you have done that, you wanna save your preset because you don't wanna keep doing this over and over again uh, every time you export it in, Final, in uh, Adobe Premiere CS6. So click uh, save preset, give your preset a name. I'm gonna name it copy 720 because I already have one saved. And then click OK. If you guys have filter settings or FTP settings uh, enabled, check them and that will save them as well. So click OK. So now when you click on the down arrow right here where it says preset, you have the preset or the custom presets that you guys created and saved right here. And you can just click it and you're done. Then you can queue it. Basically, you can uh, queue it. You can still work in Adobe Premiere. And if you click export, this will export immediately and you can't, you won't be able to use Adobe Premiere when it once it's exporting. So click export and you are done. This video might be a little long, but it hope I hope that it has helped you. And if you guys uh, do like this uh, tutorial, go ahead and leave a rating, which will help me out in the long run. Subscribe if you guys are new, and leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.